In an interview with Good Morning Namibia, Phil Mayer says he turned defeat against a fellow learner in a past exam to revenge, arming himself to ensure he secures the number one spot in the country. There were four sources of fuel for that fire, right? Okay. So uh, the first source was just because I didn't come first last time. I was fifth. I was, I was this close, you know, just a little bit more and I would have been there. In the ordinary so, level examination. Uh, yeah, NSSCO, yes. Oh, yeah, okay. And so I was fifth there and I, 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 you know, I didn't like it at all. I, I wanted to be first. So <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, not again. I wasn't going to be fifth, fourth, third, uh -huh. definitely not second, but first. Yeah. Um, I also said that in the Republican, so I kind of had a promise to fulfill. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, the second source was uh, someone in my school, a uh, colleague of mine, who is Carla de Christa Mahoro, sixth position this year, mm -hmm. and she was an absolute, you know, I, I like to say threat, but in a very respectful manner, yeah. you know, because as much as I respect her, also shout out to her because, wow, you know. Did that, she give you competition? Th th not just competition, you yeah. know, she actually beat me in several subjects and overall mm. in the first semester. She had one less subject than me. And she didn't have English, and English is a dragger, you yeah. know. It <laughs> but yeah, sure. <coughs> and the fourth reason was actually, you know, a couple of public, uh, s private scholars at the NSSCO announcements last year, uh, that two of whom beat me, and they actually made fun of Delta. They mocked Delta, <laughs> and um, I, I didn't take it lightly. Okay. And that was actually, you know, every time I remember that, I'm like, no, 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 no. no. You need to show them. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. This time it's going to happen, and yeah. two of them didn't show up at all this time. It took practice and multiple sources of study material, he says, to succeed. Phil Mayer says one must practice to understand a subject more than simply knowing about it. Now, I watch this video, I go do the exercise and I can do it. But that's not the way, you know. Mm -hmm. you especially for mathematics or physics where you have to understand you can't just it's not just knowing something it's understanding something mm -hmm. you know so you watch the video you take understanding from it and you go try the exercises you may not try do it first try but you may do it on the second third fourth fifth attempt you know mm -hmm. you just have to that's my next point you just have to practice and practice and practice until you actually have it perfected mm -hmm. as for his views on the new curriculum curriculum of course is um contributing factor as well because if you look at the jump between NSSCO and NSSCAS there is a huge gap is right it? there is uh, it, I mean if and you have to have a D only a D in NSSCO to get to AS level if I if I look at that isn't in, it a C and I think they changed it to a D didn't they well I I had the marks so okay <laughs> I didn't really all right <laughs> check yeah, so. yeah. but um sure um let's say C even right yeah. so I mean we all kind of know that the marks in NSSCO, a C isn't necessarily 60%, mm -hmm. right? It can be a bit lower. So let's say a C is 50%, right? So you know 50% of the work in grade 11. Now you have to jump to grade 12, AS, with all this complex stuff. Computer science as well, mathematics, physics, chemistry, everything is just so much more detailed, you mm -hmm. know, on, and understanding based. And now you have to take your 50% basic knowledge, if you will, and uh, somehow do get, get to the same 50% in this advanced syllabus. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's expected that you drop two symbols. Two symbols. If you have a C, you suddenly have an, uh, have an E, 